This is the practice guide to the handle bourrée. It's in both the Camerata packet and the Concertino packet. Um, I'm actually going to start from the pickup to measure 17 because this is the trickiest left hand passage and I want to show this to you first. Um, this piece has a lot of repetition in it so this video shouldn't be very long. So we're starting with 4th finger D in 3rd in position then shift back So I'm going back and forth between third position and the upper second position. Here's third position on the D. Third position, then shift back. First finger on B, second finger on C. Then I shift up to third position on the D string for these notes. So here it is. Then on this E, I shift to fourth position. My first finger goes on D, then my fourth finger is on the E. Then I cross and shift. After the E, cross and shift to second finger A. That way you can play G sharp with first finger. Shift back, first finger B. Shift up, first finger C. Going forward. So I'm going to do this whole line with the bow so you can get an idea of what the fingering looks like. Then going forward, um, this is the last note in measure 20, first finger G. shift back to second finger first position on the F natural. Here it is again, pick up to 20, pick up to 21. So this is one of the places, many places in your packet where you're going to be shifting from first position to second position. Usually it's a one, two, and four shift. On the G string the notes would be A, B, and C. So here's um, from, I'm going to play from measure uh, 23. So I start in first position, shift, cross, fourth finger, uh, then shift back, second finger, and then you're back in first position. So that's this whole section from um, 17 through, uh, where are we, 17 through like 25, 26-ish. Um, now from the beginning. Okay, I'm going to play just, <clears throat> I'm going to play these first eight measures for you. You have the option of either starting with fourth finger G or open G. I'm going to start with open G for this re uh, recording. This passage repeats itself tons and tons of times. Um, so from the beginning again, you have the option of playing open and crossing the string, or starting with fourth finger in second position and shifting this way. Um, you can choose whichever one you'd like. Then going into the second complete measure, I play first finger A, shift up, fourth finger on C natural, then second finger on B. It's another one of these first to second position shifting places. And the rest of it's in uh, first position. Starting from measure five, I play the entire measure five in first position. Measure six is almost all in first position except the last um, two notes. The last two notes, I shift to third position and play C, A. This way. Okay? And then I shift back, 
pivot back almost to first finger B, then go back to third position. Shift back, first finger on F sharp, second finger on G, so you can add a nice vibrato to that. Um, I'm going to play through measure five till the end of measure eight. To that pattern. Um, you have the railroad tracks there, the sejura, it's the two backslashes. Um, think of that as just a comma in this context. Don't worry about the actual definition of sejura. Um, in this piece, treat it like a comma. So here's like, uh, if I play just that measure, measure eight, one, two, three. I just stop the bow and go on to that. So those are the two passages that happen the most in the song. Uh, the rest of it is very repetitive. The rhythm is not difficult. Um, there are some slurs, eighth note slurs, some slur separates, and some up-ups. Uh, so watch for those. But otherwise, uh, the difficult part in this lies in what you do in your left hand.